Hi there, Will here from Single Track Magazine, and I have to the left of me the White 529. Now the 529 was one of our sub 1,000 pound hardtails um, in a group test feature in issue 109 of Single Track Magazine. Um, it's actually the cheapest of the lot. This one here is 875 pounds. Um, now the 529, as you see it out of the box, uh, weighs in at 13.36 kilos, which in old money is 29.56 pounds, uh, and that's for the medium size. The 529 has a brand new frame for 2017. Um, there's two models in the range, 529 and the 629. Both got a brand new frame. It's a 29 inch hardtail, uh, trail bike hardtail, so it's got a 120 mil travel fork. Uh, but the geometry is kind of, it's, it's, it's gone very modern. It's got a 66.5 degree head angle, so it's very slack. It's been inspired by White's higher end trail hardtails, so they've decided to bring that confidence and stability and that uh, modern kind of geometry down to a cheaper price point. It's got a very long top tube, short stubby little stem, wide flat bars on there as well. Um, and the fork on the front, 120 mil travel Suntour fork. It's a Suntour Radon. It's got a lockout at the top, adjustable rebound damping. It is air sprung, so you can adjust it with a shock pump, depending on how heavy you are or what kind of ride quality you're after. It's got 15 mil through axle dropouts and it's got a very nifty quick release that's uh, quite easy to open and, open and close. Suntour cranks as well. Uh, these are two piece cranks with an external bottom bracket. Um, so nice and stiff and uh, easily serviceable as well. It's a two by nine setup. So two chain rings on the front, got nine speed Shimano shifting on the back. Uh, that uh, fashionable black cassette that was cool before other brands made it cool. Uh, it's got a Dior shifter on the back and a Sierra shifters on the front. So uh, fairly basic kind of spec. Uh, but the big story about this bike is, is the frame and the geometry. It's a beautiful aluminium frame. A lot of lovely shaping going on here. It's got internal routing through the front triangle. Um, it has lovely S-Bend seat stays, which are designed to give it a nice comfortable ride with a bit more compliance. Um, the tyres on here, 2.25 inch rubber from Maxxis. You've got an Arden up front and a cross mark on the back and uh, White's own branded wheel set. He's got 21 mil internal width, eyeleted, double wall, very strong. Um, now the 529 out of our three-way hardtail test was by far the fastest downhill. This bike gains speed with, uh, with alarming momentum. It's, uh, it can go very, very fast. Big wheels, slack geometry, low slung, doesn't take much for this to, to get up to speed. Uh, the only issue that we found through testing was the fork can't really match the speed that the frame is capable of. It's not a bad fork, it's quite smooth, it's easy to adjust, um, but at higher speeds the damping struggles a little bit when you're starting to hit higher speed stuff. To be honest, that sort of riding that we were doing on this bike was probably outside its intended purpose. This is a great hardtail for trail centre type riding. It's a great bike for new beginners getting into the sport. Uh, it's going to give you a lot of confidence um, and a lot of confidence descending in particular. Um, so a really nice frame that White have put together here on the 529. And it's the sort of bike that you'd be happy upgrading the components over time as your skills increase and as you want to get more out of that frame. Um, so that is the, uh, the brand new 529 from White. Thank you.